As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State flags, order, arms. And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremony in Grill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as you welcome today's graduating division.
Division Nine Two Two. Division Nine Two Two provides the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders, fall out and collect outer guards. Divisions. Counter. Mark.
Division Commanders, left or right, base, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see eight divisions comprised of 658 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is seaman recruit Jalen Forbes from Dallas, Texas. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the State Flags Unit on their seventh week of training, the Staff Unit on their eighth week of training, and the Triple Threat Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division one, one, three. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Judy Rasson. Petty Officer First Class Christopher Madsen. Petty Officer Second Class David Wallace. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Construction Men Apprentice Elijah Moore from Blue Springs, Missouri. Division one, one, four. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Adam Broussard. Petty Officer First Class Christopher Davis. Petty Officer First Class Eric St. Amand. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Matthew Gaunt from Menifee, California. Division one, one, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jawan Murray. Petty Officer First Class, Sean Liu. Petty Officer First Class, Alexandra Foki. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Mackenzie Henley from Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Division one, one, seven. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Robert Van Roy. Petty Officer First Class Eddie Guerrero. Petty Officer First Class Wesley Green. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Colton Howells from Rainier, Washington. Division 1, 1, 8. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Juan Maris. Petty Officer First Class, Winston Winslow. Petty Officer Second Class, Gabriel Allen. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Recruit Justin Quinones Nieves from Orlando, Florida. Division 1, 1, 9. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Tim Yakubishi. Petty Officer First Class Volker Weiss. 
Petty Officer First Class, Monica Hogan. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Wyatt Vandermurray from Quincy, Washington. Division one, two, zero. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Daniel Lopez. Petty Officer First Class, Ricky Bryan. Petty Officer Second Class, Joshua Jones. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Siosi Blevins from Killeen, Texas. Division 9, 2, 2. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Eric Spizek. Petty Officer First Class, Yoselin Kihara. Petty Officer Second Class, Marquel Jordan. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Dialin Juarez Jimenez from Guatemala, Puerto Barrios, y Sabal. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Processing Command, arriving. The guest may be seen.
present art. Dear God, how humbling it is to stand here today and celebrate the triumphs and progress of these young men and women. Each of them has exemplified the strength and fortitude of a United States sailor during their training here at RTC Great Lakes, and they deserve such a title. We are grateful at this time to be accompanied by the family, friends, and loved ones of our newest graduates. It is because of their external support Many of these young sailors continually pushed through the trials they faced and gave their all to stand here today. Hard work, dedication, discipline, honor, courage, and commitment. We have tried our best to instill these values and attributes into their character, and we pray that each of these young sailors will continue to grow in their understanding of these guiding principles. Now God, we ask that each of these graduates be physically, mentally, and spiritually strong, no matter the battle. And please, God, let each of them always fight the good fight. For your strength, fortitude, and courage, we pray. Amen.
Good morning, Captain. I present the graduate division. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, sir.
Sir. Very well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your Navy quarterdeck. I'm Commanding Officer Ken Froberg, CEO of Recruit Training Command. 
I'd like to welcome our family and friends attending this graduation here today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Colonel Kevin Cummings, Command Surgeon, United States Military Entrance Processing Command. I would also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsors, Naval Reserve Center Great Lakes, sponsoring Division 115, and the Naval Construction Training Center Gulfport, Mississippi, sponsoring Division 119. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your service to our country. Will our veterans please rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 922 graduates today. They're our triple threat unit, providing recruit choir, drill team, and band. Please join me in giving them and the seven other outstanding graduating divisions a round of applause for the outstanding performance. The Staff and Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have completed 10 rigorous weeks of training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as civil and free. I would also like to take a moment to welcome you, your family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailor here shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your Navy family resources here at Great Lakes and around the world. Search Navy Boot Camp Navy Family, check out our website to learn more about your new Navy family resources. Today's graduates will serve as the bedrock of American Naval Forces around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who are threatened. I can say with pride, this training group is waiting to graduate, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you 658 of the newest sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Two divisions have earned this honor today. individual award, and he will be joined at the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, senior Julia Genova, Division 115, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Lee Young Center of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Senior Genova receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, Sam. Captain, seems like 
Bryce reporting. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressed in the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Sadie Zacharias, Division 120 from Brandon, Wisconsin, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Zacharias is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor! Maryland, 2000, and graduated Army Medical Department Officer Basic Course. 
Colonel Cummings has served as staff, family physician in Keller Army Hospital at West Point, New York, during which time he also deployed to Iraq as a battalion surgeon for the 1st 17th Mechanized Infantry Battalion, 2nd Brigade, 1st Infantry Division, followed by a brigade surgeon for the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade, 2nd Infantry Division, Camp Humphreys, Korea, and division surgeon for the 1st Cavalry Division, Fort Cavazos. Prior to his current assignment, he served as a command surgeon for the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence, Fort Knoxville, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome for Colonel Cummings. Thank you, everybody. It's fantastic to be here with you today. Uh, good morning, and welcome to all our distinguished guests. Most importantly, the family and friends of these sailors in the ranks today. It is a great privilege to join you today, welcoming these young men and women as the newest sailors in the world's finest Navy. I thank each and every one of you for the integral role you played in their success. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands the Navy core values honor, courage, and commitment, and have the drive to make it happen. We now also welcome all of you into the Navy family. To all the young sailors standing now before me, congratulations on your accomplishments. You look magnificent. In June 2000, 24 years ago to this next month, I first put on the Army uniform. Like you, I made the choice to enter into the profession of arms and service to our great nation. Each of you has selflessly answered the call to duty, to serve a cause greater than your own. You have passed every test, triumphed over every challenge, and proven yourselves worthy to wear the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. Whether you stay for five years or for 30, you've joined an exclusive fraternity of those who have chosen the path of service. Sailors, I can tell you from experience that you're about to embark on one of the most challenging adventures of your life. But I can also tell you that if you serve with honor, keep the faith with your fellow shipmates, and strive for excellence in everything you do, it will be one of the most rewarding. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America has shown strong presence throughout the world, on seas, and in the skies. You have taken on the task of defending our nation, and the instructors and staff here at RTC have done a masterful job in preparing you for that tremendous duty and responsibility. You have earned it, not, you've earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. In closing, not as an Army Colonel, but as a fellow American, I would like to be the first to say to you all, thank you for your service. Congratulations, sailors. Cummings will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremonies with your families for the naturalization ceremony. If your sailor is reporting to Naval Station Great Lakes for follow-on training, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is conveniently located just past the main gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now here Liberty Co.